Welcome back to Nerd Tier. I'm Andrew. <laughs> and I'm Tokyo Dan. If you want to watch more videos about comic books, uh, Pokemon cards, cards book, book books. reviews, anything that we like that falls in the uh, nerd uh, sphere, Here. go ahead and hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with all our videos. Um, today, we're going to be sending in some books to CGC. So we're just going to show each other what we're sending in. Can you do me a favor and show me what, show me an example of a CGC book and why you like it? Why, of course, sir. So here is an example. So we've got, uh, it's encapsulated. Mm -hmm. They give it a grade. Um, and then... You can't read it, so. I mean, I see it as more of like a piece of art. That's why I really like them. Plus, they look super rad when you hang them on your wall. Yeah, it's just a way to kind of um, preserve it. it. Pre preserve it, you know? <laughs> like, uh, I really like The Simpsons. So uh -huh. I have The Simpsons, uh, the first comic book, in yeah. a, a 9.8. And I like the high number uh, just because I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so, Cause, you know. Because you're a size queen? Basically. <laughs> basically. So what, how we do this is we gather all of our books together. We make sure they're cleaned, they're pressed. Mm -hmm. So basically we, we try and take out any flaws out of the books. Then we send them to a company, either CGC or CBCS. Which we've, all, we've only sent to them once. We've only, oh, we sent to CGC a couple times. Um, they take 100 weeks. To they take a lifetime. They literally go page by page, and they're looking for nicks, dings, making sure all the pages are there. And they look at the cover. They they give it a grade, ten being the best. Which there's only a few books out there that are actually mm. tens. Most are most perfect books are nine point eights. And then they seal it back up and they ship it to us. Now, yep. one good thing about these is it is a uh, industry wide. Uh, agreement on the quality of a book. So if you see on eBay a Gideon Falls 9.8, you know that if I sell a 9.8 and you sell a 9.8, as long as they're both CGC, they should be the exact same value. Right. So so we'll we'll make this video, and then when we get this back in, say, two to three months, we'll years. make a video, a video opening these and seeing what yeah. grades that we get. Um, we, we have some Pokemon cards that we sent over two months ago and they haven't even been marked as like getting ready at. for grade. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, you can, you can look on our site. We have the Charizard and the fat Pikachu and that that's our CGC cards that we yeah. sent in. We sent in a bunch more that they don't care 51 about. 51 more cards that are taking forever. <laughs> uh, do you want to go first? Sure. I have the most, I think that I'm sending in this oh, yeah. time. So, yeah. uh, Okay, so this one will be no surprise because you know I already have this one. I did just buy a copy of this 9.8 um, that I haven't gotten yet, $140, oh. just to guarantee the high grade. But I'll send this one in. This is the Star Wars, the High Republic, the Hans variant. Oh, it's so awesome. Um, I've got I've got that same exact one considered sending it, but... Yeah, maybe next time. Maybe next time. Yeah, it's good not to get them mixed up since we're sending them together. <laughs> Uh, I think I have 13. You want me to show... If you've got doubles. I do. Okay. So I ordered four copies of uh -huh. Star Wars High Republic when you told me to order it. Yep. And we didn't realize it was going to be the second printing, but uh, raw, these are worth about 20 bucks yeah. a piece. So I have four of these. It's the same, it's the same one as this one. It's just different covers Yep. yep. for those who don't know. Okay. And why don't you go ahead? Okay. Um, I will do two books starting out first. Oh, actually, I'm going to do one book starting out first. <laughs> I have The Amazing Spider-Man 252. Ooh. The, it's, I, think I, it's, I don't know what that is. It's tied <laughs> for the first time he's in his symbiote shoot, uh, costume. Okay. So I'm it, guessing that's a black suit? The black suit, yes. Okay. The black suit. How so. much is that book worth raw? Uh, I think I spent 60 on it. I think, mm -hmm. and I, that one I pressed and cleaned it myself. Looks nice. It looks nice. It, 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 it's it's super nice. Um, oh, might as well do this one too. Uh, go ahead. And this is Marvel Superheroes Secret War number eight. It is actually the origins of the symbiote suit. Very cool. Very cool. All right, let's see what Papa Clark has. Okay. Okay. okay um, so I have Abbott 1973. I know nothing about this comic. Andrew just told me to get it. So <laughs> I did, and I got three variant covers. 
So this is a one per store cover of it, the same issue. Abbott did get picked up for Netflix. It got picked up. And then this is another cover. I, I have that same one. So I only got it. Uh, I'm sure these are good, but I just got it to grade it to sell it whenever we get back. Yeah. Yeah. So. No, I think I think that's good. Um, I'm going to do two. Okay. And so our last order to CBCS, I sent in a Spider-Man 300, which if you're editing mm. this, put it right here. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Just as the number three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I might. Um. So I've been trying to complete a run of that because I'm a freaking psychopath, and uh-huh. it's uh, three hundred is the first appearance of Venom. So I've got Spider Amazing Spider Man number two ninety eight right there, and Amazing Spider Man two ninety nine, both done by Todd McFarlane. Okay, very nice. My next book, I'm just going to do two books again because it's the same book. Okay. Uh, we have Future State, The Next Batman, number one. I don't know what variant copy this is, but I got these from Comics Elite. I think it's their exclusive covers. And here is the other one. So Very nice. Did you, did you like that book? I liked the Batman part. I didn't like the other two stories. Oh, I yeah. they were a waste of time. And, uh, uh, did you read Dark Detec- or The Detective Future State? Oh, Detective it's comics? Good. Yeah, it's there's I a do feature. Like those. I didn't I didn't read that though. It, it's it's pretty good. Okay. So on top of my 298, 299, mm-hmm. 300s at CBCS, mm-hmm. 301. <laughs> Amazing Spider Man 301. It's the same What as, did I send in to CBCS? Uh Bounty Hunters one. Oh, okay, yeah. Hey, it was a cool cover. Yeah, it is a cool cover. I'm excited to get back. Uh so yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. I'm just going to do both of these oh. again. This is another one I haven't read that Andrew said to just get, so I got them. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a theme here. So uh, the ones that Andrew tells me to get, I'm just getting to hopefully resell. Yeah. Well, uh, no, you should read that just because it's good. I hate Ice Cream Man. How do you... Well, that is, like, what point does it serve? I no. want a good story. There is no story... <laughs> Fuck it, I don't care. I, I, haha's really good. I, I enjoyed it. It's super weird. I thought it was only about Donald Trump when you first uh, showed it to me. Oh, that, that cover? And so I was totally turned off from it. I was like, I don't even want to, like, satire or read anything about him. <laughs> I'm going to cut I, this I like, I like I like this uh, cover mm-hmm. because it reminds me of the Joker, whenever he, he was dancing. Hot take, that movie sucked ass. Really? I didn't mind it. Didn't he mind it. It was such a pushover until he wasn't, and it just... I, the Joker's supposed to be like... I mean, it's uh, a... It's a just like it's anarchy. an origin story. Yeah, it just works. Except... I didn't like it. I mean, there's three Jokers, though. Did you ever get into DC when there's three Jokers? It's somewhere around here. Uh, it's pretty good. My last one. <laughs> my big boy for this send. Let me see what number it is. Amazing Spider-Man... 361, the first appearance of Carnage. Ooh, is that a... That's Mylar. Yeah. That's Mylar. That's like all. The, uh, <laughs> this is not a modern... What? What kind, Is this a gold bag? I don't know. Like gold? Like it's it's, a, it's what I bought from the shop. It's a big one. You're a big one. So, all of mine are Amazing Spider-Man. I knew you weren't going to send any Spider-Man, so I was... No, I am trying to buy a uh, Miles Morales uh, Ultimate Spider-Man number four? one. I don't want that one. I want the first one that was his original series. Oh, uh, Ultimate Fallout is the where, uh, number four is his first I appearance, know. but my, uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales number one is his first. There's solo. that, and then there's Ultimate Spider-Man number one oh. that the graded ones show. Ultimate Spider-Man number two forty-two. It makes no sense to me, and I'm oh, so there's confused because uh, I want the one that I read years ago when Miles first came out. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I never read any of the other Spider-Mans. And so I read his, and it's, it was the really, best. He's really good. Uh, and I'm saying that based on reading none of the others, Miles Morales, uh, uh, great. Spider Gwen's pretty, pretty good. Not going to read it. Really? Don't care. Really? Really. Hmm. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I bought that in, in uh, the, what is it called? The Hulk, uh, Immortal Hulk. Immortal Hulk one. And whenever I got it, I was like, I'm never going to read this. I don't really? know why I paid 30 bucks for this. Really? You're not going to read it? I'll try. It, it's pretty good. I, it's Maybe. It's, it, it is a, um, it's more of like a horror story than an actual 
like like a superhero story. Of course, I'm, there's... I'm usually mostly disappointed by superhero books on how uh, shallow cheesy. The, yeah, the yeah. books are. Like yeah. I want a, I want a good story, and just because it's a comic book doesn't give an excuse no. to be. I mean, fuck. well, in in like somebody killing the children. That's a, I mean, really low word count, but I think it's a fantastic I, story. That one is a great story. Um, Gideon Falls. What I've read of that, it's really good. I haven't read any of it yet. I have the the trade over what here. What are you doing? Because I'll get books by authors that I like, and mm. I will read them, uh, but I haven't. I may have read like one, but one chapter in it. I, but, I, yeah, I think I've read the first book of Gideon Falls. I'm like, ooh, this is pretty good, and yeah. then I never read more. Yep, I love this uh, Jeff Lemire dude. It's the same one that did um, Descender. Oh, okay, I need. I still need to read that. It's that one's amazing, and I have two volumes in Descender I need to read. Anyways, okay, I'm just going on and on and on. Yeah, hey, I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> you want to close us out? Add, make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you. Check us out again. We'll have more videos. So right. have a good one.